What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 20. And we, uh, well, guys, normally I would take some time here and I would kind of gather myself and I would get ready for Horde Night. There is no gathering myself. There is no getting ready for Horde Night. We need to go, go, go. Uh, <laughs> if you guys missed last episode, you really should go check it out. All right, so uh, I do want this gun. I also, um, let's take... Uh, let's take that off the hot bar and then we'll move this stuff down a little bit okay and then we will put another gun right here I will put the shotgun there so I now have this gun oh wait didn't I get a um didn't I get a tactical assault rifle where the hell did I leave the tactical assault rifle I don't remember oh man what a what a crazy couple episodes man like last episode not gonna say anything go back and watch it if you missed last episode you've missed one of the rarest things in seven days to die. You need to go check it out. And as far as this episode, well, I'm not ready. I am not ready. I got nothing done. Um, I'm hoping my base will be able to hold. Will be able to hold up. Um, I will probably use some Molotovs. There we go. And let's see. I got a tactical assault rifle in here, right? Damn it! What did I? You know, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I am not ready. Did, I'm thinking I left it at the drop chest at the trader. That's the only other place I think it could be. So let me go. Let me go see if I can find it before <laughs> before the word comes. It's not looking good. Not looking good for old KG48. All right. So this is the only other place I, I think it could be. I don't have any other drop chests. And I know I got the gun. I know I did. I just I put it in this chest. I'm 95% sure. And that's pretty good percentage right there. Uh, Yeah, there it is. Okay, and I want this as well. We'll put that right there. Is there anything else I want? Um, pipe bombs? I think I'm going to hold off on pipe bombs. Uh, I will take any of the other... Uh, I don't have anything else that I really care about on Horde. I need repair stuff. What do I need to repair? I need iron. And I need cobblestone. I do have more cobblestone back at the base. By the way, there's just been an update. And one of the things they did is... I don't know exactly which blocks are going to have which hit points... But they make it so if you use poles, they like they have like 75% hit points. And if you use plates, they have like 50% hit points. So basically, I, I don't know the exact numbers. That, that could be that could be right. I could be off a little bit. The basic idea is if you're using something that's smaller than a full block, it's not gonna have full hit points. And um, totally understandable. Makes a lot of sense. And uh, honestly, I'm surprised they didn't do it earlier. All right, so let's leave this out here. And let's go inside. We're going to need some cobblestone. I'm going to need cobblestone for repairs. And yeah, I think that's going to be about it. So let's come in here. I still have to make, um, I still have to get the cement mixer going. It's just, it's been a cluster F, guys. It really has. But um, hey, that's part of the fun. I'm going to need some pipes to repair the shotgun as well. And I need to get some mods on the assault rifle. So the first things first, let's go ahead and take the mod off this thing. Uh, mod, and I think I can fit quite a few mods on that assault rifle, although I don't have time to be going through. I don't think the barrel extender is really that good of a mod, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I, well, I could put the uh, weapon flashlight mod on there. It won't do too much for it, but it will do some. Oh, and the grip. Okay. Yeah, this tactical assault rifle is going to be dope. Modify. There we go. Oh, hells yeah. Hells yeah. And we're also going to want some pipes. To repair the shotgun, and we also need more cobblestone, and I think that's it. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything. I probably am, but we'll see. And uh, this thing's all ready to rock. This thing's doing 72 damage. I did put one point into my uh, machine gun, machine gunner perk, so that's important. All right, my um, game stage, in case anyone cares, is 49, and my uh, B. My loot stage is 39. My loot stage feels a little bit low, but, you know, that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. So we can't get in from the front anymore, so we got to get in from the back. Uh, I can pick that up. That doesn't need to be there. Um, I might as well pick up the ladders as well. And those two. And I should be able to get up this way. Hopefully the enemies can't get up two spots above, you know. We'll see. Should be pretty fun. Uh, you know what? Just in case they can get up, I think if I block it like that, 
that should help you know probably can't get up but just in case all right so we are going to need a permanent place for this hammer and i'm going to put it right there because we will be repairing uh, i'm not going to upgrade that uh let's can't upgrade that or repair all right so we're going to upgrade these and at this point i think i'm as ready as i'm ever going to be I'm a little nervous guys i'm not really feeling comfortable when last episode i found a irradiated you know zombie uh on day 14 it's got me a little nervous with how the you know the loot game stage uh thing is going to work but we'll just have to we'll just have to see what we can say um the only thing i don't like about this setup is that i can't go i can't go out now um i might i might replace these oh one other thing i forgot to do one other thing one other thing one other thing one other thing uh i think it's yeah the half Okay, so we're going to come over here, and on face, that's that's centered. Okay, so I need one that's not centered. Yeah, that says centered. Okay, uh, where is a half that's not centered? Uh, this one. Yep, put that right there, and let's upgrade that. And then put this right here. I don't know if this is going to work anymore. Um, I was watching a Games for Kicks video, and this wasn't really working the way it used to work. And it kind of got broken on him. So I'm not really sure if this is going to work, but we'll see. Um, it would be like the Fun Pimps to defeat it. The Fun Pimps, you know, are really concerned with defeating our base setups. So whether that's good or bad, that's that's up to you guys to judge. Um, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It depends, but... Yeah, they, they are really concerned with defeating our base setups. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these as well. Yeah, that should be pretty, that should be good enough. And let's upgrade this door. And then upgrade this door. And then I think between now and the time the horde comes, I guess I'll just uh, continue upgrading stuff. All right, we are ready to rock. Oh, they're breaking through. Yeah, they're not, they're not going for... They're not going for... The, uh, oh. <laughs> they're not going for the door, all right? I saw them trying to break through, like, three blocks away from the door. Um, they simply just don't see the door as a way to get in anymore. Okay, so that thing's doing well. Um, I think we could probably come over here and shoot some zombies. Uh, I don't see any. I can't really see much of anything. Okay, well, if I can't see them, then I should just take this down. And, oh, here we go. There we go. Boom! Punch that stupid face of yours. <laughs> yeah, that thing's doing that thing's doing work, man. <laughs> I, like I said, I saw Games for Kicks using that thing, and it really wasn't working the way he wanted it to. So... Alright, I am not going to screw around with this. See, how is that missing? Like, I mean, I know it wasn't exactly on his head, but it was pretty close. And aren't, like, shotguns supposed to have a spread? It's, the shotgun seems to be a lot better when you aim. So, I try not to aim, though, because it takes stamina, you know? <clears throat> okay, so where's that spider zombie? I'd really like to kill that guy. Oh, oh god, they've already broken the first one out. Wow, okay. Oh, boy. All right, infected, and I don't have anything to fight that. So that could be a problem, because I can't go get anything to fight it. Yeah, they, they broke the first one out pretty quickly. Okay, there you go. You know what? I'm just going to open that up. I don't think those things are going to last that long. There we go. All right, and... Uh, I don't know where that went. Oh, you gotta light it. Okay. There you go. Alright, while they burn, I will... Yeah, this thing's not gonna last for long. It definitely doesn't have as many hit points as I would hope. Oh, hold on. Reload. Did they break out my thing already? No. It's still there. Okay. Right, let's try and repair again. Maybe once I get that up to reinforce concrete, it'll be, you know, a little bit stronger. But, man, that th that first one went down quick. There you 
you go. Punch the dog. Yeah, the, the, my melee is not going to keep up until I get Steel Knuckles. So I think we're going to be using a lot of the shotgun. Oh, boy. Okay, we broke it out. We broke it out ourselves. Dude, this shotgun does not hit stuff unless you aim. Like, look, crosshairs are right on him. All right, I hit him that time. A lot of times it doesn't, though. Yeah, these things are way better than those poles. Although, I don't know what I'm going to do about that guy. All right, so they will get through a little bit. Um, I have some ideas. I think I could put, like, um... I think I... Ugh, really? Uh, drink. Okay, there we go. And we're going to use these right now. And then we're going to use these. I probably should have just used the, the, the wraps, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, see, the dog's a bit of a problem down there. Okay. Yeah, the dog's going to be a headache. Anything that's on the ground like that is going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, I can't hit him, so I will ignore him. Always reloading the shotgun, man. Yeah, I think you really got to kind of spec into the shotgun for it to be really good. Alright, and we will repair you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, the the, the fist, the, the, like the brawler build with these iron nucks, it's just not strong enough, man. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's okay, but once you get a few guys, it's like nah. Okay. See, instead of reloading the shotgun, I just switched the gun. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to deal with the dogs, man. Oh, God. Come on. There you go. Okay. Not sure I'm supposed to get that guy down there. See, I, I need I need better traps, man. That's what's killing me here. I don't think I could raise that one again. Okay, drink. And drink again. Reload the shotgun. I wonder if stuff's attacking the bottom parts. Yeah, they might be, but maybe not enough. There you go. Yeah, I do much better with the shotgun when I aim. I know that sounds obvious, but... I feel like you could have the shotgun kind of like on the zombies. And it, it sometimes it just doesn't hit them. Although it seems to be doing okay now. Oh, wow, they're barely even doing any damage to the poles. One thing's for sure. I'm going to have to, like, start farming up some ammo. Okay. All 
Alright, let's do this. There you go. Burn, baby, burn! Zombie in third! Oh, burn, baby, burn! They seem to be doing enough. It's kind of weird that he was walking. I was like, is it 4 o'clock yet? It can't be. I want to get those loot bags. Switching guns is kind of like... Sometimes it feels awkward, like it doesn't switch when it's supposed to. Okay, repair that. Seems like whenever I shoot with the shotgun, they just happen to be, like, moving their heads. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, those those hatches are way better than those poles. No doubt. Okay. Wonder if I'm gonna have to lower the max the max uh, alive. I mean, it, like, without being able to like. Build a base that takes advantage of melee? I'm going to go through a lot of ammo. Possibly too much ammo. Honestly. I might have to lower the max alive. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Is that it? Okay, loot bags. Also, am I missing... Am I, like, losing loot bags? I think I'm blowing up loot bags. Oh, blue one. Nice. There we go. Alright, let's see what's going on down here. I heard some zombies, but I'm not seeing any now. Oh, I see him. Okay, let's close that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the meta is going to be for, you know, the horde bases. But this is not... I mean, it's okay. It, it's doable. But, man, it's really going to take a lot of ammo. Come on. Oh, those are going to be some good goggles. Where'd it go? Oh, four. Never mind. I'll hold on to him. Is this thing broken or what? Why isn't it like up? All right, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let's go drop it. Let's go drop stuff off so we can move. And then I'm gonna take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the meta is. Uh, I think if I make big walkway bases and I get electric fences involved and stuff, I think it'll be okay. But as it is right now, um, I think a little bit of a mistake I made for this season was. Probably not going advanced engineering early enough. I think that's, um, I think that could be considered probably a wrong move. Now, do I want the experience or do I want the better loot? <sighs> you know what? I want the experience. Yeah, because I need to, yeah, I need to get some, get some levels for sure. Okay. All right. That's looking pretty good. Okay. And now, uh, you know what? Let's go down and get something to uh, cure the infection. Yeah, I should have had something to cure infection on me. That was uh, another one of my many mistakes. But I think for the most part, though, I, I handled it okay. All right, what am I going to use? How much infection does the, um, does the honey cure? That's the question. Does it actually say... Do I actually, do I have any honey? I'm not seeing any. I found the honey and it cures 5% infection, which is great. That means I'll, I'll be able to get cured completely. 
which is awesome. Okay, um, I think next horde base, or next um, setup for the horde base, there needs to be electric fence, at least three rows of electric fence. One right here, one right here, and one right here. At least three rows of electric fence. I also would like to put up a couple of blade traps, and I think that'll um, take us through pretty, you know, pretty well. The blade traps will definitely help. I will get experience from the blade traps, because, um... Actually, you know what? Why don't we just put the points in there now? Advanced Engineering 3. So now I can make all of the stuff. Now, what does this do? Learn shotgun turrets for short range. All right, I need to buy some shotgun turrets because I probably won't get this for a little while. So I do have to buy some shotgun turrets. I have seen some at the traders. I just have to buy them. Um, I don't like the submachine gun turrets, so that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So, all right, that's cool. So I got one more point to spend, and I think we need to put it machine gunner. I think we need those guns to start really, you know, doing work. Yeah. All right, machine gunner. And that that, that will work with the uh, tactical assault rifle. Well, it's now the morning, and I spent most of the night kind of planning out a future walkway defense. Um, because walkway defense is the only thing I know that might work on these guys. Uh, now, a lot of people have been saying that the zombies are super dumb, and they don't follow pathways anymore. They won't follow the walkway defenses. But... This thing right here has been working. This hatch base has been working. They've been following the path they're supposed to. And if you look down here, they've barely been touching the things that are holding me up. Right? Now, the walls over here, they're, you know, these are kind of out, like, they're not using the door over here. That's for sure. But I'm told that's always the way this, uh, uh, this base, you know, this area has worked. The, the, the zombies have never, have never gone through the doors here. They've always beaten on the walls. So is the is the pathway defense gonna work? I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna find out because uh, short of a pathway defense, the only thing I could do is build up walls and and do spikes around the entire base, and that's gonna be very very expensive. And honestly, even though their pathways, even though they're kind of dumb, they are still poking a two block hole in the wall and then pouring through it. So let's say hypothetically speaking, I beef up all these walls, I double thicken the walls, all right, and then I put spikes everywhere. What they're gonna do? Is they're going to pick a spot, they're going to beat out this and this, and they're going to pile through this one area. And all the other, you know, 99% of the wall is going to be absolutely useless. So, again, I don't know if they're going to follow the pathways, but I'm going to give it a shot because, you know, why not? Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. But I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. And um, this is just a very preliminary um, idea here. But what I'm thinking of, this right here is going to be a big tower. Okay? It's going to start right here. It's going to come all the way over here. And it's just going to be a big tower. And this is going to be the walkway. And then I will have a roof over it and walls and all that good stuff. Okay? Then I'm going to want them to have a staircase that they can run down. Um, I will probably put the staircase right here. Okay, they'll walk up, hopefully, <laughs> walk up the staircase, run down that way, turn around, run back down this way. I might bring them back down that way and back, back, back this way again. I'm not really sure because they, they, they'll, only, they'll only walk a walkway if it's so many blocks. And that was an Alpha 20. Again, I don't know if it's going to work in Alpha. Uh, that was an Alpha 19. I don't know if this is going to work in Alpha 20, but whatever. Um, we'll give it a shot. And then what will happen is they'll come over here and then there'll be a walkway going this way. And I'll, and I'll fill it up with dart traps, blade traps, all that good stuff. And then eventually, that will be hooked up to the way in to the tower. The tower will come all the way over here, probably about right here, will be the little walkway. I have a couple of hatches here, and that's the way they're going to get into the tower. And if they walk that way, then that's great. If they don't, well, back to the drawing board. Um, you know, my original thought, again, is that the pathways are not going to work anymore. The zombies will not walk pathways. They're completely stupid. Back to the way they were, you know, back in the day, kind of. But they've been walking this, guys, and they've been walking it flawlessly. So who knows? Who knows? One thing I do need to do between this and next tour is I need to farm up some ammo for sure. Okay. And what I was thinking was, I don't know if I'm going to get it done by next tour night, but I want to go Demolitions Expert 3. First of all, explosives are a godsend. They're unbelievably powerful and awesome. Second of all, craft grenades in, sorry, craft grenades in more efficient stacks of gunpowder. Craft grenades and more efficient stacks of gunpowder. Now, the more efficient stacks of gunpowder is what I care about. Basically, it takes 1,000 
uh, be, whenever you want to make gunpowder, I think it's one for one. And so it takes a thousand coal and a thousand potassium nitrate to make a thousand gunpowder. With this more efficient stacks, it only takes 800 to make uh, a thousand gunpowder. Uh, let's see, gun powder. Uh, yeah, it's one for one. So if you want to make a, th a thousand gunpowder, it takes a thousand coal and a thousand nitrate. If you do them in stacks, right, it only takes 800. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. We're like 20% less. That's a really, really good uh, thing to get. But I would need to get perception five for that. And I don't know. I don't know. I would get perception four and use the glasses. But hmm, that's like four, five, six, seven. That's seven points invested. But my uh, my explosives also do more damage. And explosives, grenades, they are the real killers in this game. So I'll have to see how that goes. Uh, nothing set in stone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this video because I would like to do a loot run next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's not how the outro goes. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.